as a small business owner, I know for a fact that we get to that point where we see the pages, the Instagram pages of other small businesses, especially the ones that are doing a damn good job in making their Instagram page attract you as a business owner, talk less of the customers. You're seeing all those their trendy animations, prints, designs, their highlights are looking good, their Instagram page is looking good, and you're wondering how they're doing that. Canva is the way that they're doing that. At least 95% of small businesses are using Canva to create all those designs. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create those posts on Canva and how you can now start to make your page as cohesive and as trendy as all those other small businesses. Now for any Canva beginner, the first thing you're going to do is try and sign up on Canva, but because we are Canva gurus here, I'm gonna be showing you what I play around with. Now, this is my dashboard for Canva, and I'm sure you can see a lot of the icons here show like different things I've played around with. Now, there are two ways you can go about creating this flashy, trendy Instagram post. One is if you're buying a template from like Etsy or some other graphic designer, or if you're creating the template on Canva. Let me give you an example. This is a template I bought from Etsy. Now, this designer gave me everything I needed to do for my page. So I had all the, you know, colors, the glam, everything looks fun, it looks interesting. But at some point, people do get bored of your colors and your themes and your patterns. So you need to switch things up a bit. So this is why I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your own Instagram post to make them catchy. Now, what we're going to do is go to the search bar on the Canva homepage and we're gonna type in Instagram post. It's gonna ask you different types of Instagram posts. Do you want a portrait? Do you want a square? We're gonna choose square for now. And then it's gonna take you to a theme or a series of templates to play around with. Now, one thing I love about Canva is its ability to read the room. It's currently the second Mother's Day coming up and they're able to understand that people need Mother's Day posts. And that's the very first thing they pop up there on their page just to attract you and give you ideas on what your homepage can look like. So as you can see, there are a lot of Mother's Day posts here. If you wanna see all, that's all there. But that's not why we're here. So let's go down to today's topic. Now, if you're looking for a theme for your business page if you're someone like me that likes retro um hippie interesting trendy looks this designs a lot of them here don't appeal to us so what we're gonna do is look through everything to see what stands out what pops out because one thing we're trying to do is create instagram posts that attract the right audience if you're someone like me that sells trendy prints trendy colors playful stuff a majority of my audience are Generation Z. They like colorful stuff, things that attract them, things that they're drawn to. So we're gonna be looking for stuff like that just to see what's you know going to catch their attention. Now, if you also don't wanna go through the route of scrolling through series and series of posts, what you're going to do is come to your All Filters tab, you're going to click and you're going to look for the different filters that appeal to you. So now we have the style, the theme, the features, the grade, the subject, the topic, even the colors, guys. Canva does an amazing job trying to give you an idea of what you want. So now for this video, we're going to look for something relating to social media marketing. Yeah. Social media marketing um, subject would be business, but I really don't want to keep it business because I think the business posts tend to get very boring. So we're going to look at the theme. Theme also might get boring. I'm not sure, but we'll try marketing just to see what's out there. We're not doing business because again, I said business might be boring. And then style should be fun. Now we click apply and we click done. And now it's going to show us an aura of fun, trendy, interesting things. Can you see the change in the color of the things that we're looking at? This is like one of the easiest ways for you to find things that appeal to your brand, things that make it look interesting and things that make people drawn to your page. Now we're choosing this post because one, the color is just, ugh, it stood out to me. And while we're doing that, we're also looking at more like this. So Canva also does an amazing job to show you things that look similar to what caught your attention. Now in this tab is where all the magic happens. We're gonna click add page 
in case we need to create something else but this is what the template looks like if we want to change the background color we just have to click the tab here and it's going to show us at the top here the background color there's several ways i go about changing my colors one is to use the color option the default colors that canva has given you another option is to create your own color play around with it so because i want to play around with it i can either move this around to see what's out there or move the range around to see what's out there so now we're playing with yellow we're playing with pink we're playing blue purple it just gives you a dynamic look or feel to your theme another thing canva does is that it allows you to choose your own theme of colors to play around with so that you have an idea of what to expect so now we're going to let's say look for something pink so we'll shift this down a bit yeah towards this and then we'll tilt this just a little bit can you see how classy and interesting this page looks? So let's use this as an example. If we've decided that we want to use this post for one page, but we also want to create posts for other days in case we have, you know, things that come up. What we're going to do is click this, scroll down to the next Instagram post and look through the all results templates. Now this template is similar to what you saw but like in the miniature version so if i want to add something like this successful tips for marketing you're going to see things here if i want to add something else like this quick tips you're going to see it here as well so it gives you a quick run through of what your um page or the colors can look like so now remember that we use pink here right so if we want to make sure that this color here matches this color here all we have to do is click the tab here it will show us a color right here and then we click this color can you see how the color matched the one on top if you want to do the same thing here highlights click this and then you have a theme for your page everything is matching everything is looking good if you want the purple to match or the pink to match this you click this you click this and you click this you will see that by the time you're done creating the post things are just working out easily so you do this now look at this post and look at this post can you see it now say we're done with this post and we now want to export this to use for instagram all we have to do is click share right up here and then click download i do this because this is just the best or easiest way for me to do this i'm gonna go and click this so you can either download both of them at the same time or choose to download page one or only download page two right let's say we want to download only page two we click done and we click download so this is one of the several ways you can create instagram posts and post them from canva to your instagram page if you liked and found this video very useful please give it a thumbs up let me know what you think and I will create more like this. But until then, don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. Bye, guys. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.